today on Dark Wing Duck. Hey Taurus Boba tries to squeeze a secret code out of the masked mallard. Gee, this hurts. And DW tries to rescue Gosselin. She's right here. <laughs> Coming up next. Evil doers beware. We're back after this. Yeah, that this was another one I, I remember very vividly from my childhood. Um, yes, I was super into Batman the animated series, and then Darkwing Duck was just kind of like that the little brother of that show a little bit. Yeah. Um, and they're both fascinating. Both had cool toys, and uh, yeah. So Darkwing Duck was a lot more like um, not as much about the adventure, whereas I feel like Tailspin was very adventurous and like kind of yes. traveled a lot. Um, Darkwing Duck was more like a Batman or uh, the the Shadow or Green Hornet kind of thing, where it's like mm-hmm. almost Chip and Dale level, like where there's there's like mysteries and there's bad guys and. Um, but it's more of like a superhero kind of. It's like a, it's almost a noir sort yeah, of feel, but exactly. there is still action to it as well. Yeah, there's fight scenes and stuff, which was kind of interesting because there wasn't a ton <laughs> of, you know, violence that Disney's trying to promote, um, especially back then. <laughs> right. but, but yeah, it's it's Darkwing Duck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, talk about the tragic backstories and stuff. To learn Goslin's backstory is pretty heartbreaking in the first couple episodes, and it's just kind of like. I don't really remember that. What was it? Uh, I'm I'm going to butcher it now, but basically, I mean, like her parents died. She was an orphan, so then she wound up. Uh, I forget all the details. It's been, it hasn't been that long since I've seen this episode, so I have no excuse. <laughs> but but essentially, you know, Drake or Darkwing eventually adopts her, and mm-hmm. and uh, after he saves her life. But it's it's a pretty like high risk game for a little while, wow. trying to save her and everything. Uh, it's it's one of the more intense two-parters for an opening series cool was that the first two episodes yeah darkly dawns the duck wow okay i'm gonna watch that this afternoon that sounds awesome <laughs> yeah they're good cool um yeah so for this one i think you could definitely he's got a lot of cool gadgets kind of batman-esque gadgets that you could make into attractions did he have a vehicle i don't really remember him driving a car or anything like batman would he had a motorcycle motorcycle oh yeah that's, that's awesome i think it was okay, called cool. the rat catcher <laughs> and he and he had the uh the thunder quack which was like a plane uh-huh excellent but that was about it no no cars though mm-hmm. thunder quack what an interesting name <laughs> for a vehicle right <laughs> <laughs> awesome um what kind of stuff would you like to see in the darkwing duck section of the park darkwing is more of a character-based show yes. rather than an action-based show so right yeah, like, what do I do to make this stand out as a actual theme park? Mm-hmm. And we had um, a similar issue with when we were trying to design Gotham, like the Batman park. It's like, we mm-hmm. don't want the character, the player, like the, the guest to be Batman. Like, I think that would be a really weird, really stressful situation. Yeah. So we right. was, the, the guest was just kind of a, a citizen of the city. And then there's all this crazy stuff happening around them. So we could mm-hmm. do something like that where, where the park goers are just St. Canard, uh, citizen so you're just like walking around and you can ex- you know see all the bad guys committing the crimes and see the good guys coming in to try to to save them and mm-hmm. wasn't uh his sidekick the same guy who was in tailspin uh, uh ducktails ducktails yeah sorry that's what i meant to say and so then we can definitely cross over with some ducktails action mm-hmm. yeah of course, it never made sense because his his partner was the pilot, so you would think he would show up in Tailspin, the one show that <laughs> right. has other pilots. <laughs> right, right. When I was I was picturing him with like his character design, I'm like, yeah, he. I think Tailspin. No, no, Ducktales, the other <laughs> yeah. Tales show. Yes, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> cool. Um, I think that Darkwing like could maybe have a theater, mm-hmm. um, where you know. They could put on like an evening show of some sort. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe even like a old school sort of murder mystery type show. Ooh. Without, yeah. without, without murder. murder. <laughs> you know, just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, that works. And essentially have the costumed characters running around mm-hmm. and doing maybe 
maybe have five different shows or something. Cool. That play with different plots in each randomly. One? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be exciting, and then they could um, the characters like let's say there's one bad guy who is on the loose at the end of this one story. He actually mm-hmm. starts kind of running around the park a little bit. So like you're leaving oh. the theater and you you see him like what he's like someone should go get him and then you can kind of see <laughs> basically take the uh, the story unfolds out into the outside of the theater into the actual park itself it, like spills over a little bit um, mm-hmm. or vice versa like you know maybe you're on your way to watch this performance of a show and you see um, Darkwing Duck like just running into the theater in front of you you're like what and then you see this villain chasing after him and you're like oh man this is kind of exciting just kind of blending the transition from walking around the park to being in the theater by Mm -hmm. kind of getting immersed with the characters running around and like doing some of the the action outside of the theater that would would draw draw a crowd as well hopefully yeah yeah (laughs) that sounds Um, fun there there's one other thing i haven't quite figured it out yet but if if you recall, I think it even happened in the theme song for the show where uh-huh. Darkwing is riding the Ratcatcher motorcycle along the St. Canard Bridge. Yeah. So, like, it looks kind of like the um, San Francisco Bridge. Right, right. But, but uh, you know, he's riding his motorcycle along the very thin railings of it. Like, yes. that could potentially be a fun roller coaster right. ride or something. And it looks like a roller coaster already because you've got, like, yeah. the, the track would just be the, the suspension cables on the bridge or the whatever that the curvy part of the bridge would be called. That. That mm-hmm. works really easily. And I think a motorcycle-shaped mm-hmm. ride vehicle would be really cool. And when you were like, you pointed out that he had a motorcycle, I was like, that would be a really cool roller coaster. Um, yeah. And, yeah, that could be really fun. And maybe, well, I don't know. I feel like the physics in certain cartoons get get kind of really <laughs> cartoony. And then other ones are, like, relatively realistic. Because I was yeah. picturing, like, you know, maybe you're driving up this, the curved part of the bridge and the motorcycle can, like, do a barrel roll around it a little bit. <laughs> so, like, and it could work if, you know, there's, like, the su- suspension cables going down from that. Just in mm-hmm. between those, you kind of do a little loop and, like, spin underneath it and then can come back up to the top and keep driving straight. That'd be really exciting kind of yeah. thrill instead of just going straight on top of this thing the whole time, which would get kind mm-hmm. of boring. But if you, like, flip over a couple times, that'd be be fun. Well, we could even expand it beyond the bridge, just have, like, the bridge be the starting point and the ending uh-huh. point yeah that you know works. have it kind of have a roller coaster that goes through some of the streets cool. of st canard you know and maybe yeah. have villain uh animatronics on either side of you trying to grab yes. you and stuff that sounds cool and or it's, maybe you, you uh like you're on the bridge uh on the cables it comes down and then you can kind of cross over onto like the highway going on the bridge and then you have oh, to yeah. like weave in between traffic and stuff, and then you eventually get on the other side of the road and back up the cables again to to continue uh-huh. the, the ride. That'd be I neat. I like that. And we could also do, you know, definitely a ride based on the Thunder Quack, um, and that could maybe you know go like underneath the bridge, or it could go you know where wherever throughout the city, just give you a, oh. a you know a tour from up above of the whole city. It'd be really cool. To and be able could, to see the other rides going on as you're flying around, that would be really yeah, neat. Yeah, that would be really cool and kind of add to the action of this world. Like, there's always a chase scene going on somewhere in this world. Yeah, that yeah. That fun. Cool. Wow. I, I <laughs> almost wonder if it would be too far to make it so that the Thunder Quack ride starts in the Darkwing Duck area, but uh-huh. it flies all around the entire park. Whoa. So you can see that these things are actually connected. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love that. And then you could do that. Maybe there's just a... Um, kind of like a monorail type system that goes around the whole park, like as a, a means of transportation. Mm-hmm. But like every fourth vehicle is a thunder quack. And then mm-hmm. the next vehicle is um, one of the planes from tailspin. So it's like right. any kind of, you know, flying vehicle from any of these properties or, and then the next one after that could be the gummy bears, like flying ship. And so right. basically or the you rescue rangers one. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Yeah. So it all, it all ties together. So you, you get all these different vehicles that are all, capable of reaching each other and like getting to these different parts of town. Cause they all have the power of flight. Mm-hmm. That'd be fun. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Awesome. Um, I think that's about all I have. I've got one other thing for Darkwing duck, but mm-hmm. we'll tackle it in DuckTales. Okay, cool. So, awesome. Shall we move on? I think so. I think that we, we could basically just kind of do some Batman esque things here mm-hmm. uh, while we're in St. Canard and you know, some action, some, 
some bad guys committing crimes. We got to catch them, lock them up, yeah. that kind of thing. And you know, maybe once in a while, they the park goer gets to help out with that process in some some regards. Maybe using some of those rescue ranger skills that they figured out of like how to solve mysteries, how to right. you know catch the bad guys. Um, the, this kind of skill set we we build here could kind of start to repeat. You know, you're like, okay, use these same skills you learned yesterday at this other park. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, that that works. <laughs> 